Hi, I'm uh, Coach Mike Capriati, former head coach of Frankfurt High, Jari's first coach. Jari's been running this uh, youth camp uh, last three years. This is the third one. It's the biggest one yet. It's been a great thing for the neighborhood, for the city. And uh, you don't see many pros coming back and doing what Jari does. Uh, we couldn't be more proud of him. Matter of fact, last year he won the Pioneer Achievement Award, which at Frankfurt High is, is quite a big deal. And it's uh, just been a, a great honor to come out here and help assist him with what he's doing. Cool, Mr. Evans. Yeah, man, like Cap said, this is where it all started for me here at uh, Frankfurt on this gridiron right here. A lot of good memories, um, you know, home of the champions. So. Uh, you know, I just like to come back and, uh, you know, show love to the community and get the kids out, get them active, and uh, teach them a few things, you know, um, things that they may take with them, you know, farther in life to further their career to make them better players and also, you know, inspire some things in them to make them better students in the classroom as well. Did you experience a game like this when you were their age? Not necessarily, no, not at all. Um, I mean, like Cap said, like he was my first, you know, coach. Other than that, you know, just playing football in the neighborhood, pole to pole. Oh, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, at the park. But um, a camp like this, not really. And um, I think it's a good thing. I mean, especially it's free. So, you know, you get a lot of kids that come out that's available to come out. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just good for the, you know, good for the neighborhood, good for the city of Philadelphia. And the kids take a lot from it. You know, one thing I want to add there, the camp wasn't free. Jerry put the bill for everything, for the food for the kids, for the T-shirts, got the pros to come out here and help at uh, Temple. Players came out to help with the little ones this morning. Yeah, free to that. them, but uh, but, yeah, but yeah, you're, you're I just out. like everybody to know what you <laughs> exactly. do. Exactly, I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it. Today we came out and we took the little girls' cheers and stuff, trying to make them excited, teach them, you know, how to be friends, meet people that they don't know, because some of them was a little shy, only wanted their friends to teach them. Just showing them how to be social and have fun and teach them how to do something that they can. Do in the long run. They can go to college, get scholarships off of this and stuff like that. That's all. Good to go? Huh? I didn't do anything. I'm hobbling around, man. He hopping around with one foot. <laughs> Support right here. Support. <laughs> one foot and I'm out here. <laughs> What's up? All right. Matt Falcone from Temple. Uh, Pat Boyle. We just finished up the camp here. It was awesome. Got great weather here and uh, it's great working with the kids all day. Yeah, it's a great experience. I mean, it's great to come out, help the community out, work with the kids, teach them a little football, so can't, can't complain. Just got just to gotta love the attitude of the kids. It was great, and uh, everybody just wanted to get better, and I think everybody got a little better today, so goal accomplished. Did you experience this at, at their age? Actually, I, d I didn't. This is uh, to have NFL guys and college guys come in. It's, it's awesome. It's a great learning experience. I never had that, and uh, I could see it makes a big impact on the kids so that's good Definitely. i didn't i didn't have the experience either like it's, it's just great like having all these players here and like giving little tips here and there it's just it's a wonderful thing so yeah, it looks like you're genuinely smiling or whatever yeah. so you really enjoyed it yourself it oh, was great. a absolutely great time like i wish i could do it more often honestly yeah it's not enough so. once a year is not enough for sure yeah, yeah. Okay. thanks so thank you appreciate it <laughs> Today we are here helping Jari Evans, man, support the community, helping with the kids, having a good time, you know, trying to get their goals in mind. Just out here having a good time, man, in the community, giving back. Uh, these kids are hilarious, man. We uh, we gonna be out here till uh, till it's time to go. Big shout out to Jari, man. My name's Usama Young. Play with the New Orleans Saints. Here for my man Jari, having a big camp, man. The kids out here having a good time. All my boys from New Orleans, Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, I mean, all throughout the league, man. We having a good time. We trying to instill some great values in the children. And at the same time, hey, it brings us back, man. You can't forget where you came from because, hey, that's what got you where you are. So it's major, man. We having a good time, and, hey, we loving it.
question. I got a question. I got a question. Who's the most elusive player in the league? Who's the most elusive? Elusive. Oh, elusive. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson. Why is that? He got hands. He can like he goes. He's a he's a off tackle. He's not off tackle. He's in tackle and off tackle running. Mm -hmm. He just no. But I really do. But he's the fastest. He got the and I'm just saying, and I'm saying that too because on the game he got 99. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Who do you want to talk to? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, huh? oh, it had a great day over here at Jari's uh, camp. Had a good time. It was fun to come out and just have fun with uh, Jari and all the kids. It's just cool being around all the kids. Got a bunch of little funny kids out here, you know. It make you, it make you feel old, even though you fresh out of college. It make you feel all old and everything. Just being around all these young kids, they they real cool. Like my man right here. What's your name? Tell me your name. Tell everybody your name. Sugar Shoes Brinkley. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> I mean, he better than Mel Kuyper. He got the updates on everything. Let him know. Tell him you should do the draft, man. Well, I think I could. You think you could, right? You better than Mel Kuyper and all them, right? Yeah. And the first pick of the 2011 draft is Cam Newton. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we out here. Out here for Jari Evans, you know, my teammate. We out here for his camp, you know, helping the kids out, you know, really trying to motivate these kids, you know, to do better and do right in life, you know, stay in school, make sure they out here playing with their friends and having a good time, you know. We teaching them uh, all the fundamentals about sports, you know, about football, the, the, the perfect technique for the, to become a football player in any every position. But, you know, it's just to make sure we had a – we out here with the kids and make sure they're having a good time. I mean, we, we're talking to them, we're asking them questions, they're asking us questions about our lives and everything. They're just having a good time and just inspiring these kids. And we tell them that, you know, hard work and dedication pays off in life. You know, whatever you go through, no matter what it is, it's in sports or a different type of career. You know, we tell them, push them to, to do their best and, you know, just to stay in school and make sure they keep good grades. So that's what we encourage our kids to do is just to strive for the best and, you know, the sky's the limit for all the kids.